All right, this is going to be how to solve the 3 by 3 by 7 and uh, you need to know how to solve a 3 by 3 and a 3 by 3 by 5 because I am not going to go into detail on how to solve uh, the 3 by 3 by 7 uh, to get it back into its cube form. Uh, you will have to do that on your own just so you know. Now what you want to do in the very beginning um, you want to pick a side to start with. I always start with black so put the black at the bottom and what you're gonna do is you're gonna find these pieces like blue this blue piece right here where my thumb is you're just gonna match it up with its center and bring it down just like that doesn't matter about these pieces and it doesn't matter if this is black all that matters is that this piece right there is blue and uh you're just going to keep doing that with each of the pieces. Uh, and note, I might be a little slow because I'm looking into the camera to find all these pieces. All right, so. I don't know why I just did that. I could have just rotated it in. Anyway, and then place in the corners. And if you want, you can do F2L, but note, you need to put these in the correct position. This middle layer right here needs to be in the correct position. But I'm just showing it for any beginners out there. Right, you'll do this first so you can uh, turn these layers freely. Now, you want to find the correct edge and place it in uh, the slot where it needs to go. This is the only thing that you need to make sure that it is in the correct place besides the cross to get it to its cubic form. Uh, oh crap. I forgot what I was supposed to do. Alright. Uh, that's a... Oh crap. That's an L. This is double suit. Oh no, that's Bruno. And there we go. Now we have all these layers can turn freely. Now, since you have the first cross, that's what I call it, you're going to work on the second cross, which is these bottom layers. So, the first thing what you want to do is uh, make sure that these are in the correct spot. So you need to switch these two pieces and this is called the adjacent edge swap so this is the algorithm R U R U R 2 U R 2 U R U R U prime R and note that I was using R to do a double turn because you are only using double turns when you turn this layer you will never do single turns with the right or left layer and I'm just telling you that now so you don't get surprised and now uh, you can uh, do this little number right here I think that's right now you can do this. That should be right. Yeah. And now uh, you need to finish this double cross. Oh, I know what I was messing up on. Um, Alright. When you have the single cross, you need to find a piece that will go in its correct spot. Like this piece needs to be green down here, so you gotta search for a green piece right there. So you're gonna move it to the side, do an F2, bring that piece into where it needs to go, and do another F2. And just do that with each piece. Until you get this whole bottom side solved. And there you go. And now that you have uh, the primary cross already at the top, using that adjacent edge swap, uh, you'll have these and then you just have to finish up with these so I'm gonna go ahead and switch these two right now and you will not be using uh, 
these three layers is you. You'll only use these two layers. So after you get the bottom layer, you don't use that anymore, and that becomes part of the center. Just telling you that. Now, these two need to be switched. So, what I'm going to do is R2, U, R2, U, R, U2, R, U2, R, U, R, U prime, R. My bad, I said R instead of R2. That was my fault. Huh, somebody's honking outside. Anyway, now all we have to do is switch these two pieces with each other. But we need to make sure it's with this messed up layer. It's alright if it gets messed up because you're going to fix it. I promise. And if you don't fix it, it's a parity case. And you got to fix that. So the adjacent edges for these two is oh, well it's the same algorithm r u r u r two u r two u r u r u prime r and there you go now you can bring that back and you have solved the double crosses and you should see a cross in the middle of each of these middle layers like here's the cross 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 and cross now this is where it gets a little complicated because you got to return layers so you don't mess everything up. And it and this uses a little bit of thinking power. So, you got to find the correct piece that goes down here and it's got opposite colors. So, this is this piece needs to go right here. This piece, this bottom piece, we're working with the bottom pieces first now because we're going to make this the center and then we can just solve Solve it like a 3 by 3 by 5 and This will be very easy. You just got to keep up with things. So you're going to use, this is called the slot corner algorithm. Because you're going to be using it for this corner, this corner, and this corner. And the adjacent edges will be for this edge, this edge, and this edge. Very simple. You just got to keep track of everything. So, you'll do an R, U, R2, U prime, R2. This will get flipped, that's okay. But now you have that edge where it doesn't need to go. Oh crap. I gave you the wrong edge, my bad. Gave you a bad example. Oh, I see where I goofed up. See, orange and orange, blue and blue. They need to be opposites, so that is wrong. Right, uh, oh crap, it's not over here. So I gotta find the blue and orange piece that's down here, which is right here. So bring that up using that algorithm. Bring back these pieces and do R U R U prime R R. And then that'll fix it. And now you just gotta remember to bring this layer back to make sure you didn't mess anything up. And just check it, do a quick little check and bring that piece back. I do that so I know I'm not messing everything up. And see, this is opposite, and this is opposite. So you could do R, U, R, U prime, R. You place that. And keep turning this layer. So you'll be moving this and this. You won't be moving the whole cube. That will completely mess you up. I promise. I have done that. And this is actually my third version of this, of this uh, tutorial. Because I just keep messing pieces up and I'll try to use it on my own and I figured out that I just got lucky but this is actually a real method so now these are opposites green red red green these are opposites and you just go down here so R U R U prime R prime so you put that piece right in there and now you want to find the last piece and it is right no that's not it don't want to mess up again here it is see red blue blue red I know that kind of looks like orange, but that's actually red. So we're going to go ahead and place that. R U R U prime R. And there you go. You solve this. Now before I hit 10 minutes, I'm going to show you the corner switching algorithm. You find two corners that you need to switch, or two corners that are correct. Place them to the left, and this is the algorithm to switch these two. Remember, you are using both of these. So the corner switch is R U R u prime r u prime d r u prime r u r and there you go 
Um, next part will be in part two.